now let's see how to include the machine learning insights to do this okay now let's click on this okay fine once you click this okay button right you will see for each of the okay visuals that you have added some insight is being actually generated so let us actually you know let's uh, um, pick few okay machine learning insights that will be useful so for that right uh, yeah we will go and uh, see yes this one department wise headcon summary the top three department is okay something useful we can add it okay let's add it uh, to the bottom let me even drag this down further okay i can actually reduce the size okay now uh, yeah we can also okay uh, add a few more okay insights the bottom three departments next to it i'll take it even down yep so we can see like the top three departments are it sales engineering and the bottom three departments are accounting finance and marketing with their respective headcount let me go to the machine learning insights so now let me add okay some more okay um, let's add this this is one okay similarly let me yeah that is um, the percentage change we can add this yeah uh, let me reduce the size of this also customize the content that is being displayed here so instead of the total counts of records i can say like okay uh yeah employee total head count it can say like total head count you can actually customize the visual or narration so by you know clicking here this and then let's click save also i can say like instead of total count of records i can say that as okay head count and let's click save so yeah like this right we can do uh, machine learning insights in one way also there's another way that we can actually do it uh, so to do this right let me add a visual so and then i can select okay uh, this inside button here and then okay now let me add some dimensions based on the salary time dimension is needed so for the time dimension i will say like higher date okay higher data higher date for time and dimension i will say like higher date aggregated by okay let's say here and also okay i can use the other things just like okay in the values annual salary i can put bonus amount i can put uh, yeah if needed we can also put the age every, every aggregation rate i'll change it to average here also i'll change it to average here also i will change it to average once that is done right now you can actually uh, Customize the inside. Computation. Click add one. You can take okay uh, the computation based on total aggregation. Okay, let's click next. And now, uh, yep, yeah, I can say based on the annual salary average i want to add the aggregation let's click add once that is done i will say like 
average annual salary is and then I can go to the computation and I can select uh, the formatted value so you can see the preview over here so I can say okay with the dollars so this is how right we can actually customize the narration uh, so if you want to add some more let me click okay average age turns out to be again you can select okay add computation and then select okay total aggregation select next and now we will based on the age and select okay add and then in the computation you can select to yeah this i will call it as age save it so now let me go to the computation and get go to the total age and for um no no just okay i will point the mouse to be here where I, I will point the cursor where i want to actually generate this matrix click formatted value so now we can see like average age turns out to be like 44.37 similarly we will find okay the average bonus amount is and we can actually add the add computation and now let's select total aggregation let's select next and now this one is for bonus so I'll select bonus and then select the bonus amount average here and let's click add now under computation right you will find okay under the bonus okay the formatted value option so ensure that the cursor is pointing where the value is to be populated yep so now let's click save so yeah you can see right uh, you can even okay change the heading okay I'll say like okay let's say like conclusion and let's put okay the heading as like this so this is how right we will actually create the custom narrations in the machine learning using the machine learning insights